Okay guys, so this video is pretty cool. So what I've done is I have that regular lot line outline and I have a previous tutorial on how to do that. But what this one is is different because it has a piece of houses right in the middle of the property. And I wanna be able to mask out those houses so you can still see the, the line continuing but not going right over the houses. So hopefully this video is informative. It's actually really easy once you know what you're doing and it's fast, so check it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask to mask out these townhomes. So in order to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click on the layer. We're gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this layer. Click on the mask, I'm gonna delete the mask. I'm gonna delete the effects. So there's essentially just this layer. And if I were to turn this off, you can see that the layer's right there. But we're gonna go ahead and we're, right when it gets to about right here, I'm gonna say about right there. This is where we're going to start the mask. So I'm gonna stay on this top layer. I'm gonna to go to the pen tool, zoom in a little bit here, and I'm gonna do basically something like this. Now, if I were to scroll forward, we wanna make sure that the mask is stopping Make sure that's turned on because that should you shouldn't see it. So there you go. So now all we have to do is track this mask so that it doesn't move around. So I'm gonna start about right here. Now that I've created the mask, I'm gonna go to animation. And instead of track camera or using Boris, we're going to do track mask. Go ahead and click that. And we're gonna do position and rotation. We're gonna go ahead and click mask forward. And what that is doing is putting keyframes in on this mask and is tracking the mask. Uh, I'll wait for a minute and then when the tracking is done, we'll go ahead and go from there. Okay, we are done. Now let's go ahead and let's watch it. So I haven't done anything, just it finished tracking and we're gonna go ahead and let's zoom out just a little so we can see it. And we'll keep the mask highlighted so you can see that and go ahead and do it. And as you can see, it stopped. And we have a very clean track. So this is how you do a track mask. Now you may want to, if it's moving in or that, you can obviously adjust the method to make it for scale as well. But what I've found is position and rotation work great. And if we were looking at this basically at a hundred percent it it looks it looks great and it only took a couple minutes to do depending on your processor it could probably go pretty fast but that is how you put a mask around a lot line with the stroke and pretty cool little trick all right guys, thanks again for watching the video. And remember, if you like this video or you want more of them, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Uh, my channel is new, but I'm really excited to create new content and put stuff out there that's hopefully relevant for you guys as you're building and growing and doing the things that you are. Uh, hopefully it's a source where you can quickly find what you're looking for and it adds value.